Hey geeks, it's Andrea. So right now I'm getting ready for a lot of videos coming in October for this special thing we're doing with you geeks. I was so busy working on those videos that I almost completely blanked on this week's video. I totally didn't start working on it until Tuesday. Shame, 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 I know, but I remembered, so it's all good. There's a list for you geeks to put together on Reddit. Things Andrea has admitted to, but probably shouldn't have. Yeah, it's not as bad now as it was when we did Let's Plays, but you know, it's still pretty bad. Anyway, the video today is five awesome vehicles in video games. There are so many good cars and other vehicles, so recommend your favorites below and we will definitely see some more of these in the future. I already have an idea for a special video of them, so. All right, geeks, let's go for a ride. Five. Halo Ghosts. If you've been a gamer at any time in the last 10 years, it is quite likely that you've played a Halo game, even if it's just for one round or something. I would say that it's one of the most recognizable game titles out there. Even people I know that don't play games at all know of Halo. Needless to say, it's pretty popular. There are several vehicles in the game, so you probably have your favorites. One of ours is easily the Ghost. Not only does it have a super cool name, but it's among one of the fastest in the game, if not the fastest. I did a lot of research looking at max speeds and I couldn't find one that's faster. And it's really nice looking. I mean, I would love to have one of these floating in my driveway. Four. Dead Rising 2 Slice Cycle. Who wouldn't want to ride on a zombie murder cycle of death? All right, of death might be a little bit redundant there, but it sounds a lot cooler. At least I think so. You might also know the Slice Cycle as the chainsaw bike or, you know, of course, the zombie murder cycle of death. You ride on Slice Cycles during the Terrorist Reality games and you can also craft them, once you pass a certain mission at least. If you like slicing down zombies, this is definitely the vehicle for you and probably the game you want to be playing. Three. Saints Row, Sexy Kitten. You know, if something's called Sexy Kitten, it is either going to be really amazing or extremely creepy. With Saints Row involved, at least for me, it's always amazing. Sexy Kitten is part of the Ginky Girl pack for Saints Row the Third, along with Angry Tiger and Sad Panda, two of my other favorite vehicles in the game. You can also get the graphically updated version of Sexy Kitten in Saints Row 4 and their vehicle customizations. Why? Because that's awesome. That's why. Two. Burnout Paradise, Legendary Cars. Here isn't just one car, but four amazing cars. Four cars referencing some American classics. Back to the Future, Knight Rider, Dukes of Hazard, and Ghostbusters. All of which I'm going to admit right now that I have never seen. But I did love playing with the cars in the game, so there's that. <laughs> Burnout Paradise is one of my favorite games of all time, and these are definitely some of my favorite cars in the game. Before you go and buy the game so you can relive some of your memories from these movies, I need to give you a huge warning. I've purchased this multiple times on different outlets on PC paying for the legendary cars and other DLCs. If you've ever played an EA racing game, you know their stuff eventually goes offline and you just can't download them. All you can get to work through legitimate sources is the base game itself, which is a fine game, but not getting what you paid for is kind of seriously bullshit. I did, however, get it to work on the PS3 version, so you'll probably have to stick to the consoles for it. One. Gran Turismo 5 and 6, Prototype 11. Oh my god, oh my god. I freaking, freaking love this thing. Not only does it look super badass, but it is by far the best maneuvering and the fastest car in Gran Turismo. At least to my knowledge, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I'm completely okay admitting when I'm wrong. Either way, it's freaking awesome. If you haven't played with it, you really, really need to, especially if you like Gran Turismo games, because I... I, I have no words for this. It's great. All right, geeks, that's going to do it for this video. As you can see in this video, I think at number two, sometimes on Twitter, if I need some suggestions while I'm working on a video, I will ask. So be sure to follow us on there. And if you have a suggestion that I use, I will definitely put it in the video like I did here. It's the same thing on YouTube. We ask a lot of suggestions like, what's your favorite, blah, blah, blah. And that's because we honestly want your input. And anytime we use a suggestion by you guys, we'll definitely include it. I love highlighting you geeks whenever I can because you you guys are all totally awesome. Social media links are in the description if you want to follow. If not, hey, you know what? I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. All right, geeks, do me a favor and subscribe if you haven't. Share the video with your friends and social media places so we can get some more geeks and become a real geek squad. Wait, no. Curse you, Best Buy. We're going to figure another name out for us. Damn them. All right, geeks. I forgot what I was going to say, so I'll just see you next time.